Got an unboxing here for you guys. Uh, Dark Horse Comics has a little detail here on the outside. 873 of 875. They made 125 artist proof and then 750 regular, which is where you get the total of 875. So subtract 750 from this number, 873, and I get 123 should be the number that I got, the artist proof. Pretty big box. Remember, the artist proof was reserved for VIP. It is a very limited item and purportedly was intended for the likes of G.R.R. Martin, Dan and David, and Sean Bean. But still, if you can't get your hands on the artist proof, the limited edition is still highly limited. I'm sure there are more than 875 fans of the Game of Thrones. Castle Forged. Let's get to the goods of this. Let's get to the sad. Details. 14 inches tall, 14 and a half inch base diameter. It's a licensed product. Do a little spin here. Get a little description. And over here, Game of Thrones Iron Throne replica. And then on this side, Another description. I think they're the same. Yeah, they're both the same. In case you want to read that, you can pause it, I guess. Right on top. Got the certificate of authenticity. See, so yeah, I was right. 123 of 125 artist proof. Not to dwell too much on details, but. They got their uh, dark horse embossed into the styrofoam. There's the base in the plastic still. There's the throne, still all packed up. bit of a jigsaw puzzle. Game of, the, Game of Thrones goes in the back of the chair. Which I wasn't intuitive for me. Spin it around and it really does appear to be made of thousands of swords. Lots of attention to detail. All of the hilts and pommels seem to be unique. One looks like a lion's head. There are some cool cross guards. It all appears to be melted and fused, sort of slumping into the stone. And I really like the idea of thatching and weaving out of steel. Like a wicker chair. Steel, iron, wicker chair, I guess. I also like the, I think one of my favorite 
aspects of it is this area of the crown, the spikes emanating. Very harsh, kind of divine. Like a halo, panning down, some more sword detailing, cross hatching, and I like the green color that the they chose for the base because they could have gone with gray, but I think that the green really sets it apart. A pan from the front, and you can see the seat that gave all those rulers so much discomfort. In this case, I think the armrest would be the most uncomfortable part. A three-quarter pan, top to bottom, and there's that bumpy, knobby armrest. Down to the green base again. From the back, it has a spine running down it, almost like a backbone, with vertebrae. The Iron Throne is truly one of the most iconic set pieces on the Game of Thrones. Since it is a sculpture, probably the best way to view it is in the round. Try to give you a little footy hand shot. Details, I don't know how much detail you guys want to see of this. Try to just give you a little idea. In case you're considering getting this, I guess. I do like the way it's made. It feels realistic, the, the construction. If you look at the way these come out, like this, and these little U's, it feels like that's how it would actually come out if you're trying to bend steel. It's not like perfect thatching. Everything's a little, you know, it's kind of messy. Basically, like if you had to create it, you'd be creating stuff, you know, the size of, with uh, materials the size of a sword. So you'd have like six foot pieces. So then you would end up with, you know, little U shapes, I guess. It's, what I am creating in my head. There's no pommels on the seat. That would make it a little more uncomfortable. But all in the back, pretty knobby. And then let's see. Oh yeah, right here. There's where one sword starts, and then it goes up to the very tip. And these are all going downwards. Kevin here with Castle Forge. I hope you enjoyed my unboxing of the Game of Thrones Iron Throne replica. I plan on doing more unboxings, more reviews, and I do my little news updates as well. But I've uh, enjoyed meeting a lot of you and plan on offering, bringing more stuff to you guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Like if you like.